In this video, we're going to talk about how to account for byproducts. So let's say that you start a mining operation and it costs you $300,000 to mine some gold and there's a separation process involved because as you're mining the gold you get rocks and pebbles, different things that you have to weed out to get to the gold and that costs $200,000 to do that process. And then ultimately your product is that you get some gold and let's just say that the sales value of that gold is $800,000. But in addition to that gold, you get some fool's gold, right? And, and let's say that fool's gold is worthless, but you have this friend of yours who collects fool's gold, and so you can sell this fool's gold as much as you get to your friend. Now, your friend doesn't have a lot of money, so the sales value of that fool's gold is just $6,000, but hey, you'll take the $6,000, right? So if we add up the sales values here, we have a total of $806,000, almost all of which is attributable to the gold, right? So in this case, we would call the fool's gold a byproduct, right? We've been talking in the past about joint products and allocating the joint costs to the joint products, but when we have some, a product where the sales value is so low, relative to all the other products. We sometimes just call it a, a byproduct and just say that it's not really material, right? It's not a, a huge thing that we really need to do a lot of accounting for. So we have a really simple way of doing it. And actually there are a couple different ways that we can account for this byproduct. So the one way is called the production method. So under the production method, what we're gonna do is we're gonna recognize that byproduct in the period in which it's produced, right? So when we mine the gold and we get that fool's gold, we're gonna recognize that byproduct, the fool's gold, at its net realizable value. I'm just gonna abbreviate that NRV, the net realizable value of the fool's gold, right? So that's the selling price, less than a cost to complete the transaction. Let's just assume in this case that the net realizable value is the same as the sales value of $6,000. You got the fool's gold, your friend comes by and buys it, there's no additional cost, right? So what's gonna happen is this. This $6,000 in fool's gold is going to reduce, it's gonna reduce your cost, right? You, you've got 500,000 in cost that you incur to, to produce the gold. Well, one thing you could do is you could reduce your cost of goods sold for the gold, right? So when you go and you actually sell the gold, right? Let's say you sold all the gold, so you're gonna debit cost of goods sold, and you're going to credit inventory. Well, you can just debit the cost of goods sold for instead of 500,000, it's 500,000 less the $6,000 of the byproducts. So that would be $494,000, right? So you've, you've reduced your cost of goods sold. Another way of doing it is you, you could actually put uh, the sales of the byproduct. They could ultimately go, and this now we're getting into the sales method, right? So another another method is that we can basically recognize this this byproduct when we sell the fool's gold itself, right? Here we're we're recognizing it when we produce the gold, when we mine the gold, we immediately recognize that byproduct that it's NRV. But we could also wait till we actually sell, till we actually sell it. So at that point, that was basically a question of timing, really, right? Timing is the, the key difference between these two methods, right? Which is gonna come into play in terms of earnings management, right? Because a, a manager, if you get a bunch of these byproducts built up in inventory, the manager could wait till it's a bad period where earnings are low and then sell some of that byproduct to, to boost profitability. Uh, so that's something to be wary of. But basically, what you could do is you could sell this and recognize it when sold, right? Recognize byproduct when sold. And it, it could also go to something like, instead of reducing your cost of goods sold, it could go to something like other sales, or you might see it in other income. Sometimes you'll see something on an income statement that says other income, and you're wondering, what is in this account? Well, it might be that there were some byproducts that were sold